Hello all, welcome to the Tech Learners and in a new video in the Python. In today's lesson, we will learn how to create animated bar chart. In this lesson, we will analyze the sales of four companies in last financial year 2023 and 24. We are taking the names as company A, company B, C and D and these are the sales chart. So this bar chart, this is the animated bar chart looks pretty good. So let us see how we can create it in the Python. In the Python data visualization, we are using the matplotlib and we will create animated bar chart. As I have already told you, we will analyze the sales of four companies in last financial year 2023 and 24. Uh, that means we are creating the bar chart just to view the progress of the sales of the four companies. Now let's see what are the prerequisites. We must have Python already set up in our system. Then we should have installed NumPy and we should have installed matplotlib for uh, this is uh, why because we need the animation class and the NumPy and matplotlib all these into the animated bar chart. Let's see what is the step number one. Step number one we'll create a python file let's say animbar.py. So let's go to the visual studio here I'll create in uh, my python project I'll create a new file with the name animbar.py you can have the name as you wish you can change the name as well okay so this is the first step we have created the python file then we need to import the necessary libraries so let us import the necessary libraries uh, for our file so we have imported numpy we have already installed it and now from matplotlib that we have already stored it, uh, installed we are using animation pi plot so these are the uh, important libraries that we will be using into our uh, animated bar chart. Let's see what's the next step. We need to create the database. So basically we will be creating one for the quarter. Uh, let's say it has to be company. So this is for the company. Okay. Let me keep it the same name. Uh, you can change the name as well. Let's say I have taken it as a quarter name. But we are taking company A, company B, company C and company so uh, we can change the spelling and you can change the name of this uh, data set okay then we need to create uh, the uh, range another data set which we'll be creating using the uh, numpy np.array and this is the sales of company a let's say 10 crore in the last year for company b it is the 100 crore and company c it is 50 crore and company d it is 75 crore so this is how we have created the data set for uh, both these uh, companies and their sales. Then we will have the data, another uh, data set that we will be using uh, NumPy array and we are giving 20, 20, 20. This is the gap that we will be using in generating our uh, animated bar chart. So this is the second step. Let's copy this. I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. So you can see this is a uh, first data set uh, naming companies. This is the second data set that will uh, give you the sales of all the companies okay and this is the third data set that will create the uh, gap in between the updations okay now let's call the next step this is the creation of the figure uh, so we'll create fig uh, and this time we'll be using subplots so because animation uh, requires these subplots and we have set this figure size as 12 comma 6 so we have created fig and the ax let's see what's the next step and in the next step we'll set the title and we'll set the uh, labels for uh, this plot so we'll set the title uh, this is plt using the plt we are creating the plot so we'll set the title using the plt dot title and here we are setting it as analysis of sales for four companies in last financial year then we'll set the x labels uh, because on the x axis we are keeping companies and on the Y label, we are keeping the sales in 2023 and 24. Okay, so we have uh, set the title at the X label and Y label. Now let's see what's next. Uh, we need to create the animation and for that we use this uh, artist. So we'll create this artist here. Okay, so we'll create this artist that we will be using into the animation. Uh, we'll creating empty artist right now and we'll also create the color bar. So we have taken the color bar uh, which we will be able to see. So in the color bar I have taken one for the blue. Let's say for company A I have taken blue color. 
for company B I have taken red color for company C I have taken green color and for company D I have taken purple color so this is the color bar that I'll also be using and then we need to create a loop which will update the data uh, for the animation uh, we'll set the container inside the loop and then we'll append the R test so uh, this is the loop that we'll be using we'll be using a for loop so I'll be using a for loop for this so this is one in range 100 we can uh, reduce this range as well we can increase this range as well so uh, we'll be using this range I'm using it 100 here we can reduce and increase as well now in this we need to do three main tasks one is to update this data so we are updating this data by adding the range where we have used this range uh, right so we will be updating this data by adding this range so that uh, we can have different animation bars different sized bars then we will be creating a container inside the container we will be setting the bars so here it's the first data set that we are using so we are setting the names of the company then this is the second data set on the y axis we are using this uh, distances and third we will be setting the color bar so we have already taken these colors as a uh, color bar so we will be using this colors here so this is the colors that we have created the uh, data set for the color bars okay and then we will be using artist.append container so we will append this container into the artist so this is the for loop and next step we need to create the animation using the artist animation class so we will be using this artist animation class uh, okay we have majorly two classes in the uh, matplotlib animation classes one is the funk animation and other is the artist animation so we will be using artist animation from the animation uh, library that we have already imported we will be using artist animation and inside the animation we will be setting the figure we will be setting the artist that we had created and we will be setting the interval that will uh, manage the speed of our animation and this is the repeat if you want to repeat the animation then we can uh, we can eliminate this repeat false otherwise we can use the repeat false so that the animation happens only once okay the next step this is plt we had we need to show this plt so we'll simply uh, we'll simply use this plt dot show now let's see what's the output of this so we'll go and right click and run python and you can see this is the uh, bar this is the animation bar right so we have this animation bar and let me uh, let me eliminate this repeat one so that we'll be able to see it actually okay so i have eliminated this repeat we can add this repeat uh, just to stop repetition of the animation so let me have this animation right now and uh, you can see this is the animated bar so here it's the title of the bar analysis of uh, sales of four companies and here is the y labels sales in 2023 and 24 and this is the x uh, axis where we had said company a company b company c and company d and you can see these are the bars for the companies showing the sales uh, this is the color bar blue red green and purple and uh, this is how we can create the animation bar and let me show you that uh, what's the difference if i change into this uh, interval so let's say if i use instead of 30 let's say if i use 40 and you should analyze that the speed of the color bar changes right okay so you can see this is how we can change the interval and similarly if you make changes into the uh, this uh, range then also uh, we have different animations so you can experiment with this and if you want the animation one times only then we can add this repeat so currently you can see this animation is repeating once it is completed uh, it's repeating right one after the other so if you want to stop this then what you need to do is you need to use uh, inside the animation function you need to use one more parameter and that is repeat repeat false so you can use repeat false here and now you will be able to see that uh, this animation happens only once so and then it will stop so here we have created the animated bars and in the upcoming uh, lessons we will create more animations in the python thank you so much